Hello, everybody. This is Michael Gray and Paul Franzen. Paul, introduce yourself. Hi. We're playing three iPad games today. This first game is called Beard of Bees. This already sounds awesome. This has to be way better than those perfect games we were playing before. The Grunt. Yeah. Beard of Bees. I can't wait. So Let's what do you do in this one? Some trouble. Find me, pull it harder, and illustrated by Axel Schaffner. It's British. So um, we want to give do this guy bees? some bees. Build a buzzing beard of bees for Mr. Grunt. This looks horribly dangerous. This is the worst idea. So basically, you just tap on the bee that's flying on the screen and then drag it to his chin to make, uh, <laughs> make a beer. As he screams in pain in the background. Do you have to be, like, careful about, about the bees? Like, is there a, a stinging condition? No, there is no stinging condition. Oh, okay. You just have to aim somewhat close to his face. And we have these oh, butterfly things. And flowers that you want to move out of the way. Oh, so I guess the idea is to to, to build the the greatest beard you can in uh, X number of seconds. Is that is that what's going on? That's that's the idea. Okay. While getting to the distractions like one. the like the flowers and <laughs> Those oh. coming. Wow, not bad. Best use of beard 2012. Not that's not a bee. Done. And that's it? That's it, that's it. Wow. I can't help but feel we're missing some context by not reading the book it's based off of, but wow, it's okay. What, what wonderful book is that based on? I don't know. Oh. And this is game number two, Must Ask Match. Okay. Oh. I think you can tell what this game is already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's one of these games. It's a, a memory game. I think that's the official term for it. This this one's free, right? They're all free. They're all free. Okay, good. All the games we're playing today are free. This is the kind of mini game you have in Mario 3 uh, where you just use the hint book to figure it out for you. Oh. So, so I don't know if I'd want to play this by itself. Or at least that's how I always did it. You, you don't seem to be doing so well. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm not doing so well. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're getting somewhere. Yeah, I get much better here. I believe I also play one of these games regularly on uh, Xbox Live's website because they give me free Xbox points to do it if I do it. If you do it correctly? Yeah, well, actually, if you just if you just do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all the uh, all the boxes are different Xbox sponsors, so I think they're doing some sort of psychological conditioning in you to seeing those names and and remembering the joy of receiving ten free points. I see how it goes. And this game is making me love mustaches a little more, so. Well, I think this game is a step above some of the other free games we played because it has background music. That's true. I, I would say it's nowhere near Beard of Bees, though. Yeah, Beard of Bees had, what do you call it, commentary from the author of the book, even. <laughs> Which makes me wonder if he was actually wait, designing wait. the game. Music by Kevin McLeod? I know that guy. Wait, you know him? Well, so I know of him. Uh, he puts all of his music online for free to anyone for anyone to use in any project they want, essentially, as long as oh, they can. Oh. So somebody just borrowed his music. Yeah, I used that in a prototype adventure game I was working on a little while ago that you were familiar okay, so with. So this is this is Mustache Makeover hey! where you take pictures. <laughs> um, this is me posing for the camera. Perhaps tell this recording is not live. Oh, <laughs> hi, Michael. <laughs> I don't know why the picture flips um, <laughs> automatically, but... I'm, I'm, I'm trying very hard to be nice and, and not point out that you look like a psychopath, but it's hard. <laughs> well, I'm on vacation right now, and when I'm on vacation, I don't, whatever you call oh. it, shave or... I was, I was just talking about your fa facial expression. <laughs> oh, oh, that's my psycho uh, yeah, facial expression. Yeah. I actually worked and perfected that, oh, believe who, it or who not. Who are you sending this to? I am sending it to you. Oh, thank you. Because uh, I think you want it, and you're my only person on the most contacted list. Yeah, for, um, <laughs> It's because you keep sending me all those darn unicorn pictures. <laughs> yeah, and so I had other oh, hey. photos that I'm uh, adding beards oh. to. <laughs> You're adding a beard on top of my beard. You're adding a smaller beard on top of my beard. Yes, this does not work as well as the beard on me. My beard now has a beard. It has its own beard. 
It's fantastic. I like it. Okay, Paul. So now that we've seen all three games, let's rank them. Oh. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, the choice is obvious. The Beard of Bees is the best one. It's better than mm -hmm. anything we've ever played on this channel. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, what about what's number two? What do you think, Beard uh, Bats or Mustache Me? Oh man, I, it's that's a that's a close call. Um, I think from a gameplay perspective, uh, Mustache Match uh, mm -hmm. has gameplay, but I was much more entertained by Mustache Me. So I'm gonna I, I would put that at second. Um, Beard of Bees number one, then Mustache Me number two, then yeah. Mustache Match number three. I I think that's very reasonable. Okay. All right, cool. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. Yep, thanks for watching.